It is just something about the Walking Dead series. I just, I'm liking this game so far. And I just want to see what happens next within the storyline. Now it seems like there's just animosity within the group. Hopefully nothing happens. I just hope that I don't have to kill nobody off in this group. I, I just, I just hope, man. And the fact is, I had to skip um, the first episode, obviously, on this version of the game because I already played the first part. Uh, it was a free episode on the Xbox Store. It was the 360 version. So now I'm playing the Xbox One version with enhanced graphics, uh, better lighting, better frame rates. Now, there's no performance issue. I mean, there's no performance option for the Series X because they didn't update it to that. Now, hopefully they do. I think with the newer versions, especially Season 4, because I've heard that they have the 4K resolution, 60 FPS. So hopefully we'll see a difference when we get there. But for now, we're still in the first season. They just upgraded the graphics and everything in the frame rate. Just a tab it. But welcome back again to the channel. If y'all want to see the rest of the seasons for season one, y'all already know, hit that like button. I said the other seasons, the other episodes for season one. Let me know in the comment section because I will be beating it, I guess, before Saints Row drops on the 23rd of August. Stay tuned. Let's get started. Let's see what happens, y'all. Here we go. All right, y'all, so we're fishing back into this. God help us. We're all infected. We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Parley. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. I mean, they gonna need food anyways, guys. Hey, I'm just you saying. Mark check the place so out. we may have to trust legit. them. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? No deal, we'll just stay here. Okay, we'll go to the... Yeah, let's... We need food for the group. We're just gonna have the, um... You know, we'll bring out our pistols just in case. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy... You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Me as a leader? Lily's uh, a smart leader. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Motor Inn's my home now, I guess. 
Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? If I don't talk a lot, guys, I'm just engaged in the story, so that's the reason why. I am Kenny. The Kenny is, I guess. Kenny's a guy who really keeps a group together. <laughs> don't let Lily hear you say that. How many people you got over there, anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's not more. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking they do? We got some bandits over there, yo. We gotta be careful with this. Covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh dang! Are you kidding? Just wreck that dude. Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Let's just get the food supplies and get out of here. Man, he just killed his own teammate like that. Holy crap. Man, yeah, savage out here. You gotta survive, I guess. Heading closer to the barn. They need to get the gas and we can get the food for an exchange or something. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 boats through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Hopefully nothing happens to her when we, uh, Come before on, they get Lee, back. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. 
This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Make sure the place is safe. We should do whatever we can to help out. Yeah, make sure this place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yeah, you can tell this game's old, y'all. Just the way the camera moves and everything. This game came out in 2012. It's that old. That is just insane. Now, let's check the perimeter. Let's just go and walk around. Yeah, if I'm not talking a lot, guys, because that's because I'm engaged in the storyline. So I'm sorry if I'm not. What in the world? Wait, is someone wrong with the controls? Hold up. Let me see something. Let me look at the, um, the sensitivity a little bit. Okay, so it just says move character, actions, move ridicule, actions, pause. Okay, so it's not, it's nothing to it. It's just basic controls that they've coded it within the game. I just want to look at that. What is this? Wait. I mean, that's what that's what fences are supposed to look like, Lee. Just saying. What y'all think? Y'all really liking this series? Um, I'm telling you, man, I, it's just highly addictive. You know, story-driven games that just really gets me on this channel, you know. I like showing y'all story games. And that's the reason why I'm playing this. Because I, I kept pulling back this game for the longest. And now it's like I'm playing this. The game stopped. Uh, they stopped updating the game back in 2019. When the last the season came broken. out. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. All right, so we're going to have to fix that then. So, can they, so they can be able to swing. All right, uh, you can't run in this game? Yeah, I'll try clicking down on the right joystick and the left joystick. That doesn't help. Let's go and talk to uh, to Mark real quick. See what he has to say. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Man, I already did that. So we already looked at that already. Uh, let's talk to uh, talk to Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So I'm gonna have to start fixing the defenses. All right, let's see what happens after this. Oh look, another cutscene, maybe. Where are they heading to now? So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. 
Come on, let's push it off. Alright, so now I gotta push the zombie off. The thing's dead, man. Anyway, well, we need this. No, I didn't I don't think I should have grabbed that. We don't know if it's dead or not. Alright, let's go and push this thing off. Get off, man. Hurry up. Freak off that thing. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. Another dead zombie. All right, now we're gonna have to push this thing off. All right, here we go. Is that thing dead though? Really? It's holding on to the barbed wire. All right, we're gonna have to. Oh, jeez. Good grief! You gotta chop his hands off. See you. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ! I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're going to have to push it up. See, the thing is to... Alright, I'm trying to do it. I'm just trying to talk to y'all real quick. They should have um, they should have made the fence a little bigger. Because that's not enough. Just a couple of barbed wire on some wood. Oh, dang, we're going to spam me. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we got it. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what would happen. What the? What in the world? Are you kidding? You dog! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Oh my god, man. What the heck? Let me look up for a second. Oh, jeez. Push the tractor? I was gonna push it. Gotta move it. Ah, it won't move. Alright, that won't work. Oh, that thing is stuck. Wow, alright, let me look on the other side there. Dang, are you kidding? This thing is stuck, guys. Alright, now we can push the tractor. All right, there was something on it. No, what are you, what are you doing? Give us the food. We ain't got no food for you. Those, those are some dang bandits, yo. Come on, Lee, push it. Something's stuck. Hold on, I'll give me a second. Oh, what is this? Oh, I gotta pull the lever. All right, hold up. There's a lever right there. Ah, hurry up, hurry up. Manage it real quick. All right, we got it. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Oh my God, man! Get, get to the gate by using the tractor as cover. Man, I knew it was gonna be them Dane Bandits or something. I thought it was the um, I thought it was Andy and him and his brother. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm hugging this thing like that. Oh snap! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Man, are you kidding? Wait, wait, get down, Lee. Gotta push this thing. Alright. Get out the way, man. Stick to the side, we're good. What? Are you kidding, guys? Come on. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Alright, we gotta do another one. Grab him real quick. Get the freak out the way, man. Oh, snap! You get it! Get that off me! Kick him in the face. 
Hold up, y'all. Give me some. There we go. We got him. Oh, snap. Come on. Nice. My goodness. Oh, my God. They got the zombie chasing us, too. Got to dodge both the arrows and zombies. I think it's getting close to me. Are we good? Get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, it was uh, a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Alright, y'all. So this will be a good stopping point. Um, it should have saved. But um, let me know in the comment section if you want to see some more gameplay of The Walking Dead Season 2. Season 1, Episode 2. I was just about to say Season 2. We're not on that just yet. We have like five episodes within Season 1, so it's going to be a while. Let me know in the comment section if y'all want more. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to try my best to spam at least three to four videos each day. And not four videos, but at least three videos each day. Let me know, y'all. Take it easy.